All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios. Yesterday, I did a video talking about how New York has removed your ability to protect yourself from criminals with these new laws. Essentially saying that, uh, well, unless somebody says it's okay for you to bring a gun into anything, it can, you can't. Uh, sensitive areas, things like that. And it's a Class C felony if you are busted. And again, the uh, stop and frisk thing was unconstitutional, yet they can keep you from carrying a gun anywhere and everywhere. So I, I thought this was interesting, especially after the Memphis uh, shooting spree yesterday by that little 19-year-old guy who just got out of prison like just a day or a couple of days before. Killed four people, injured three. The irony of this is that these guys feel it's okay, we need to remove people from prison, put them back out into society, uh, and they just go in back and they shoot people and kill people, which is, you know, again, the irony of it is they're also taking your ability away from you to protect yourself. It's kind of like that guy Fetterman. Uh, if you heard, he says, we could take a third of the prisoners out of prison and you would not be less safe. That's bullshit, and he knows it. Uh, so anyway... I, I went back and I was thinking, well, the hypocrisy of it all is hearing these people and their statements. And I just wanted to share a couple of these things for you. If you took the time to read some of the stuff in that uh, link that I left, uh, the governornewyork.gov, I'm going to read some of these things. This comes from the state superintendent, Kevin P. Bruin. Isn't that funny, Bruin? We truly value Governor Hochul's leadership and the resources she has provided that have allowed us to aggressively crack down on the transit of illegal guns into our state. How, how does she do that through this uh, deal here? I'm not exactly sure, but okay. Uh, here's another one, Rosanna, Rosanna Dana, <laughs> almost. Division of Criminal Justice Services Commissioner Rosanna Rosada said, we have seen the devastation and the trauma caused by gun violence in our communities. Seriously, gun violence from who? A criminal. Not the law-abiding citizen that you're trying to keep guns out of hand. We thank Governor Hochul for her leadership on this issue and are proud to stand by her for the safety of all New Yorkers. As we work with our partners in law enforcement and local governments to institute these common sense safety and training rules for licensing. Well, I guess she forgot about the part where they're not allowed to carry a gun anywhere anyway. Uh, how are you supposed to protect yourself if you've got your firearm in a lockbox? Typical. Uh, the Senate Majority Leader, Andrea Stewart-Cousins, said in response to the Supreme Court's decision implying that guns are more important than lives in this country. Please don't do that. That's, that's gaslighting. Uh, we passed legislation to ensure that New York State has safe and responsible gun laws. No, they're overextended gun laws. They're ridiculous. They're unconstitutional. And you will find out about it here, Andrea. States are, <laughs> states are the last line of defense, which is why we stepped up to protect New York from being easily flooded with concealed weapons and keeping firearms out of the wrong hands. Nothing in these new laws is keeping guns out of the wrong hands, period. And that's one of the reasons why it just irks me to the nth degree. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm going to keep reading because you're going to keep getting pissed. And this is why... When I say it's important to vote for the correct person, not based on who you're told to vote for, but for what your rights mean to you. Do I, do I make myself clear? Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty, Heasty, Heastel, or I can't read, Heasty, the Supreme Court and the gun lobby. The gun lobby. Who is the gun lobby? Well, I'll tell you who the gun lobby is. It's you. You're the gun lobby. You're a MAGA Republican. You're uh, a Democrat. You're a person who... Uh, acknowledges and recognizes the importance of the Second Amendment in the ability to protect yourself, your home, your family. They're taking that away from you because, well, when surrounded by law enforcement, you, you don't really need anything. And for the most part, people who are okay with the anti-gun thing, they don't have guns. They don't have any skin in the game, so it's okay for them. Uh, the gun lobby. Uh, the Supreme Court and the gun lobby may value access to guns and over the lives of Americans. That's disgusting. But here in New York, we are making a strong statement that is <laughs> that this is unacceptable. Just like it's unacceptable to let that guy out of prison so he can go on a shooting spree and kill four innocent people. A 17-year-old girl, her father weeping. No one was there to take the guy out. And the issue about, oh, there's that's a, that's a myth, that's a theory uh, debunked that a good guy with a gun can stop this kind of stuff. 
Yeah, this law will help keep New Yorkers safe in public spaces, not just schools and government buildings. <sighs> okay, moving on. Eric Adams. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the fun one. This is the guy that wants to take your ability to protect yourself away. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court's Bruin decision was a shot heard around the world that took dead aim at the safety of all New Yorkers. Because if one person has a gun, they're going to kill everybody, even the law-abiding people. The law-abiding people are good people. They're not the ones out there doing the shootings. And these laws are set forth to destroy your rights. Uh, unbelievable. New York State. Uh, okay, so it just keeps going on and going on. New Yorkers Against Gun Violence Executive Director Rebecca Fisher said, even as the gun industry attacks our sensible gun laws, our communities, and our children, we know we can count on New York State's leadership mm, to protect us time and time again. In June, the gun lobby backed the U.S. Supreme Court. No, what they did was they backed our constitutional rights. These people, this just makes me sick. Every town for Newtown, gun safety director uh, of the state government affairs, Manisha, Munisha Henley, as gun violence continues to impact states across the country on a daily basis, policymakers at every level have a crucial role to play in passing common sense gun safety laws to keep their co communities safe. Brady President Chris Brown, I mean, it just goes on and on. New Yorkers are now safer thanks to Governor Hochul and the state lawmakers. Gifford's Law. In the wake of the Supreme Court's reckless decision to strike down the New Yorker's 100-year-old concealed carry law, courageous lawmakers across the state stepped up. The courageous carry concealed law. You were, they were taking it upon themselves to judge you, whether or not you could exercise your Second Amendment right. And this is the part that I just, I, I, I can't even stand it, man. And a couple of guys, they actually made some uh, additional comments yesterday on some of the things that I missed. And I, I will tell you this, it's absolutely disgusting uh, what they've done. So anyway, again, uh, I'm going to put the link down below to John Crump's video that he's put producing. Uh, we're, they're trying to go after these guys. What they've done is unconstitutional. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Anyway, I wanted to put out a quick video about this thing again because the hypocrisy of the left. Let the criminals do whatever they want. But because they have control over the law-abiding citizens, hmm, just like Darth Vader said, or Princess Leia was, the tighter you grip, the more people will escape. Vocal, hocal, you are Darth Vader. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Not as they're trying to change things these days. Oh, KB32, I am out. Boom.